Hey there, homeschooling families. Today, I am here to talk to you about Saxon math. You know, this year I switched my math from Abeka to using Saxon for one child. And I just want to tell you some of my thoughts on it. Okay, let me switch the camera around. As you can see, this has a seven, six on it. And from what I understand, this book can be used for a sixth grade, an advanced sixth grader, and as well as seventh grade. And what I like about this book is the child that I had to switch it for was too distracted by all the color and the colors and the, um, I don't know how to explain this to you, so I have to show it to you. This is, actually I don't have a student's book for Abeka, but this is the Abeka's sixth grade curriculum. There's their math book. And see how you have all the little colorings in here, the little pictures and all these little sayings. I don't see one there, but usually we do. You have just little things on here that's kind of distracting. That was distracting for my child. And so I said, let me try something else. I switched from this to Saxon. And from what I understand, both of these maps, Saxon and Abeka are on sort of like the same level. They are like on the same level. So, and I think that's true because I've uh, been doing this since the beginning of the school year and I found that to be true. Anyway, so as you can see, this particular uh, level has 140 lessons. I love that. It's sort of the same as, I think it's the same as a Becca. They have 140 lessons. So it's the, it go, you will, uh, your child will be working on this for the whole year. Um, what I like about this book, it gives you a whole bunch of, um, it speaks really to the student because the student is supposed to be taking this book and after you introduce them to the new concept, they are responsible for actually getting that work done and trying their best to, um, I just, I mean, trying their best to do it without you sitting there with them all of the time. <laughs> and if you look at this, you will see down here, uh, the author's, Tell the kids, solving these problems day after day is a secret to success. Work every problem in every practice set and in every problem set. Do not skip problems. With honest effort, you will experience success and true learning, which will stay with you and serve you well in the courses which follow. And I can attest to that is that is a true statement. My child who is who was using this book or who is using this book, um, once they get the concept down, is in their mind. And see, um, the other thing I found I like about it is that it's in black and white. It doesn't have all of that color. I love that it has the practice that it introduces the concept up here. And then it gives you um, just samples, examples of how to use the concept. And then here it gives the child practice. That is the practice set. Sometimes it's a little more than that. That's look like just five of them, but usually it's more. And then they give the, and once they do these practice, uh, finish with these practice problems, the parent is supposed to check it to see, to make sure they're understanding that new concept. And then they, the child has to start the problem set. And, they have a lot of word problems in this curriculum, which is really, really the pro the point really of math is you, you should be able to take a concept that you have learned and learn how to apply it to a to a problem or just life period and figure out which one you need to use it. See, and they start off with the basic lesson two is, is adding decimal numbers, whole numbers, subtraction. And, then, you know, it goes in order, just like the Abeka book, multiplying. And then you, as the child advances, the math becomes more and more challenging. I love it. I think it is on par with Rebecca. I truly would can use either either or to be honest. Let's see, we're all the way. See, they're teaching them uh, classifying quadrilaterals, um, so many different things. And then another thing I like about this is they teach a concept like, for the instance, percents part one. They will teach this concept. Sorry about that. Um, today and then every lesson after that, they will continue to uh, teach or give problems that will use that particular concept. So your child will not forget, which is awesome. I love that. There's always review. Review actually is built in throughout the curriculum. So the other thing I love about it is that when that with Saxon math, if there's a concept that I as a teacher don't understand, I can always go online and look at some of their review um, review problems online on their actual website. This is a, actually I have an old the old book. Um, I've had this in my family for a while, but it's still the same work. It's an old con con uh, old uh, design cover design, but they have updated this this curriculum and there's an online component to this math now so you can go in there and look at it for yourself to figure out whether or not you know how to if you don't understand something you can get more practice so now that's the good things about it now let me tell you about what i don't like about it <laughs> it has to do with being able to understand a concept myself or not understanding the concept and them not giving me uh showing me in the book how to do something i find that that's kind of um, confused. It's just, I don't know, it's not helpful. So, as you see here, this concept is, what's being taught here is the area of a triangle. Um, in Saxon, they explain everything to you, they write it out, they gave you um, the formula there, and I guess right there, where they're using the formula. But it because I was so used to the way a Becca puts things all together in one area, I, this kind of confused me a little bit. <laughs> I had to figure it out. See, like a Becca, they put it all in a separate area by itself, all of the examples, and they show you how to use it. 
it shows, Rebecca shows you how to write out the formula with letters. Then it shows you how to um, translate those letters to the to the actual um, numbers that you're looking for, the measurements. And then it takes you step by step until you solve it. So what I'm saying, and then not only that, what I love about Rebecca is it walks me through every, it gives me the steps for every problem. Look at that. For every problem, it walks me through. So that saves me trying to guess how to do something if I'm not really, I mean, if I have lost um, the, the, the knowledge of the concept, if I have kind of like forgotten how to do it, I can go back and look at what they are doing and that helps me tremendously. But as you can see, Saxon doesn't do that. They give you the, the samples and the examples here of, uh, you know, of the work that they have done. But then when they give the child, when they give the work here, they don't show the steps. So that's what I don't like about Saxon. <laughs> yeah, if you are the type of person that knows this math really well and you don't need the step-by-step -step <laughs> instructions to help you figure out a problem in um, Saxon, then Saxon is an excellent curriculum. I, re I would recommend it. I highly recommend it. But like I said, I am used to using a Becca and I love a Becca too. But anyway, that's my say on Saxon math and I hope that's helped you. By the way, if you are someone who's just starting off homeschooling and you need some help, click the link down at the bottom in the description and schedule a 30 minute free call with me and I can help walk you through some things. Or if you're someone who is just starting with young elementary age school age kids, click the link down in my description and get my course. I have created that just for new homeschooling parents with young elementary age kids. Okay, don't forget to like and comment down below. Okay, thank you. Bye. See you soon.